Hello, long time no see. We don't speak, we don't talk, we don't text. I mean, hey, it's been so long. How are you guys doing? I'm doing okay. I was sick prior, or rather during my whole YouTube hiatus thingy, and um, I'm feeling a lot better now, so yay! I'm doing jumbo braids today, and I decided to blow my hair out because I want it to last longer and look smoother and have that really nice professional look. So I blew my hair out for that one reason. And I'm coming up on my one year anniversary of my big chop. So since I'll probably be braided up for that time, I figure, hey, let's see how far I've gotten. And I've gotten pretty freaking far. I just gotta say that. Look at my hair. It's so far out of my head. So I cut my hair. I cut off all of my hair in April, like mid-April, like the 15th or something like that. So I don't think I'm going to get like 5 inches from now until the 15th. So let's just say this is my one year length check. And I'm very proud of myself. I am extremely proud that my hair is still growing out of my head and I'm returning a lot of, retaining a lot of length. And that it's looking good. I can actually like do an afro. And this took a long time because I don't have a blow dryer that has a... a, a Comb attachment, this means comb, yes. And uh, I had to do the tension method, which I think is a tension method where you comb a piece of hair and then you just do that again. Yeah. So it took a while, but I'm very happy that it's, it's, it's looking like I can actually, you know, it's looking like it's not on my head anymore. It's not like a, a low fade. And I'm very, very glad about that. So, um, I am going to do box braids. And I already told you that. So now I'm going to go do them. <laughs> um, <coughs> that was a cough. So you hear, um, I've been um, looking at a lot of YouTube demonstrations on, on how to properly braid it in and get that really thick, juicy, neat look that I want. So I'm going to try and go for that. And oh, let me show you my, my bangles real quick. Heritage 1960 is a uh, online store that have recently opened up and they sell like a lot of African things. They sell like African made clothing by African designers or people inspired by African designers. They sell earrings, they sell bracelets, they sell bags, a bunch of stuff. And I want to emulate that style or adapt that style for the summer and the winter. And here on out, I love the prints. I just, I think it looks so awesome. So, um, a couple months before they had a contest on their Facebook page to win some of the items that they're selling on their site and I won something I won these Berber bangles aren't they beautiful yes they are and they are made from recycled prayer mats and they look absolutely beautiful on my skin especially with the my Caribbean goddess light on they look absolutely Wonderful, I love them. They come um, three in a pack. I believe they are $29.95 for the pack. $29 or $30, just about that time. And um, when I got them, instead of regular tissue being in the bag, they sent like three pieces of this fabric. Oh my gosh! And while it's a little bit too short to, to really like make a headband or anything, what I plan on doing is pretty much folding it up like this. And then one more time like that, and maybe even narrower, get some elastic and put it on the ends, and then voila, just have some type of thing and make it into a headband, because you're not just going to send me pieces of fabric and I'm going to throw it away. Oh no, we're going to do something with those. We're going to make it like some type of shirt, dress, bra thing. We're going we're gonna to do something with them. Um, they came with these two pieces of information. Both of these are in Nigeria. In 1965, which was the height of West African style, apparently. And I got a personalized note from Enyene. There it goes. And she is the founder and creative director. So please go to heritage1960.com and check out their stuff. They have a lot of interesting things. And I believe they change their catalog monthly. So it may seem like a small selection, but they switched up every now and then. I love these bangles. And they're so light. And my wrists are very tiny. They're not coming off at all. I love them. 
And they're gonna look so nice with my braids. I guess gonna be like, I'm gonna be walking around people just like, hey, how are you doing? Sorry, it's just like, my bangles are so beautiful. I just have to have them in all the conversation. <laughs> I'll see you guys, hopefully for the finished product, or if I remember anything else to tell you guys, okay? Bye. Awkward pause when I try to find the button for the camera. <laughs>